Hello, friends and family from around the world. This is Mike with Daily Events Worldwide, and we are on July 10th, 2024. Welcome to another surviving day of the planet, and welcome to the Daily Do, giving you your space weather update as well earthquakes, volcanoes, and world weather. Always starting out here looking at amazing imagery of our sun today, looking at the last 48 hours of imagery brought to you by SDO and mixed here with Daily Events Worldwide. We have multiple C-class and M-class solar flares in that Earth-facing sunspot region. Looking at the last 48 hours incoming, this is cresting into limb, large plasma filament on the right-hand side, right there. That was shown in the sun short this morning. And thank you so much for all the support in the sun shorts. I'm glad you enjoy those little minute updates. And keep sharing and liking. Thank you so much. Looking at the last 48 hours outgoing, this is the region that produced the M-class solar flare yesterday, but outgoing has been pretty active, and as well, this Earth-facing sunspot region. So these are the two most important sunspot regions right now, looking at multi-spectrum, as well, that black hole in the northern hemisphere, that is a very large coronal hole, and it is currently now Earth-facing. So watch our solar winds to increase over the next 24 to 36 hours as that Earth-facing coronal hole will affect the winds on our planet. Having a look at 171 angstroms here, our sun, amazing images, and looks like nine sunspot regions right now. Biggest players right here, putting this into motion quickly. Very large sunspot there, and as well, cresting into view, two very large black holes. So stay aware and prepared and stay tuned to Daily Events Worldwide. Current space weather conditions, we are under R1, which is a minor radio blackout impacts, can be expected. Solar winds are coming in at 373 kilometers per second, slightly above average. 250 to 300 is average. Solar X-ray flux, as you can see, spiking there into the M-class range all day long. And it's a little bit repetitive to what we saw two days ago. So big sunspot regions turning in. Geomagnetic activity remains low right now. KP index sitting at a 2. Having a look at the Space Weather Prediction Center showing their space weather spiral. Little green circle on the right-hand side is Earth and all of the space weather spiraling around our sun and heading towards our planet. ISWA space prediction spiral showing the same thing. CME taking off, Earth facing. Expected arrival date 13th into the 14th. So 48 to 72 hours from now, we will be seeing the increased solar winds from the coronal hole and as well that solar storm. Having a look at LASCO 3, our sun has been pretty quiet. We're showing the last six days of our sun. And just recently, over the last little bit, we've seen multiple C-class fl uh, solar flares and M-class from Earth-facing sunspot regions. Amazing images here brought to you by SOHO, NASA, and as well, daily events worldwide. Again, thank you so much for watching and subscribing to the channel. Don't forget to give a big old thumbs up and share with your friends and family. Now let's get to earthquakes here. As a very large earthquake this morning struck the middle of the South Atlantic Ocean, south of Africa reporting a 6.7 magnitude earthquake, as well as 5.1 mid-Atlantic ridge. Now there was no tsunami with this earthquake. That's right, no tsunami, but very large and notable earthquake. South American plate reporting the deepest the last 24 hours, 261 kilometer depth. Argentina, 4.7 there, East Pacific Ridge. And Cocos plate towards Colombia, 4.7 magnitude, 4.0 magnitude here, Dominican Republic off the coast. And as well, 4.3 in Mexico. No major swarms to talk about or Notable or rare earthquakes, but Alaska has been a hot spot recently. Today, seeing a 4.1 earthquake, Halibut Cove, Alaska, 
There's been lots of SO2 coming off of the Aleutian Islands, active volcanoes throughout the region. Looking across the west, the rest of the west here, West Pacific, Indonesia 5.4, and as well, followed by 4.8 and 4.4, multiple active volcanoes through that region as well. Notable earthquake, Basmat, India, 4.5, right in the dead center of the Indian plate. That's a little bit strange. And as well, a 4.3 earthquake there, Turkey. 5.0 magnitude earthquake here. North Pole towards Svalbard along the Rick James Ridge, the North Atlantic Ridge. Now, this is a glance at the last seven days for shakers around the world. It's where I take a quick moment to say, please be ready. If you live in an earthquake prone zone, earthquakes can be forecasted as we've seen all this increasing activity off the coast of Tofino, Canada this week. This was forecasted here with daily events worldwide. Please don't forget to subscribe, hit the notification bell, make sure you're receiving all updates so you don't miss a thing. And thank you so much for watching. Thank you for subscribing and all of your amazing love and support to the channel. If you live in an earthquake prone zone, just be ready, please. Deep, deep earthquake Marianas Trench, 6.7 south of Africa, and much more to come. Now let's have a look at our SO2 forecast as there's some substantial large fires burning in northern BC and as well northern Alberta right now. Big plumes of SO2 and dust coming off of North Africa from a pretty large eruption at Mount Etna. And as well, uh, large eruptions through Colombia. Right now we have 42 active and erupting volcanoes across the planet. And a few days ago I showed you the massive dust cloud that is being swept across the central Atlantic right now. Well, it's now sucking up all of the SO2 from Mount Etna volcanic eruption. Looking across the rest of the world here, the other active volcanic regions. Notice in eastern Russia, lots of SO2 and carbon being, mission, being emitted through Kamchatka, but also eastern parts of Russia are seeing massive wildfires right now unprecedented what really i mean we, when you look at this map there are hundreds of wildfires right here in parts of central and eastern russia and it goes all the way up to northern parts some nasty air quality there through these regions not a populated region but wow this is insane some huge wildfires across eastern Russia. Now let's have a look overlooking Canada as we've got looks like about 50 to 100 wildfires through parts of northern BC and northern Alberta right here. So thoughts and prayers going out to everybody affected through those regions. Some small wildfires burning in Washington as well. There's the last look, satellite imagery of Hurricane Barrel as it was getting ready to head into Ontario. And let's have a look at satellite imagery and Hurricane Barrel as it makes its way through the Gulf of Mexico, makes landfall in Texas, record-setting amounts of rainfall all across and in its path as it beelines for Ontario. But also notice in the West Atlantic here, there are some very large upper level low pressure systems spinning here. You can see them spinning through the Atlantic. And the path of this hurricane, all of the first few hurricanes for this season have been taken the same way right through the Gulf. So a sign of things to come. I think every storm will be taking the same path. These high-pressure ridges are not moving across our major oceans right now. Let's have a look at world weather forecast brought to you by Windy.com. Monsoon rains continue.
but a substantial low pressure system moves into parts of China and Taiwan this week. Set to bring some heavy rains, strong winds, and as well through India. Low pressure systems there. Watch for New Zealand to be impacted by a possible cyclone here developing in the long range too. Very strong low pressure system off the coast of eastern Australia. Impacting New Zealand in the long range, but could be encoupled by a possible cyclone. And look at the size of these low pressure systems in the southern hemisphere right now. I've posted many videos about our planet and the changes and... I'm sure you've seen them all just as I've been seeing them all and documenting them all. Let's have a look over North America and parts of Europe. Noting out the huge high pressure ridges across the Atlantic and the Pacific right now. That high pressure ridge is going to be fueling equatorial moisture and air northward towards the east coast all summer long hopefully things change here in the next little bit stay safe and healthy stay aware and prepared much love everybody good night if you enjoyed today's video please hit that like button subscribe share with your friends and family from across the world